Hello and welcome to my weekly vlog from Madison's. Well, of course, the stamp duty holiday was uh, extended last week and Right Move saw a surge in activity. A phenomenal level of uh, interest from buyers coming back to the market, having a good look around. And of course, many of those will be sellers as well. They estimate that around 300,000 property transactions will go through and make advantage of that stamp duty holiday. And indeed, 46% of sellers won't pay any stamp duty at all. So that's a really great saving and a real impetus to the market as you'd probably expect. But if you want to take advantage of that stamp duty holiday by the end of September, not the one that ends at the end of June, but the one that ends at the end of September, they estimate that on current um, conveyancing rates to get a property from exchange, uh, sorry, from under offer to completion, you need to be on the market by the 23rd of March, which coincidentally, is the day we went into full lockdown last year. Who can believe it's almost a year ago? Well, let's uh, talk about something else and landlords, um, buy to let investments. It's really interesting. There's two fascinating stories that came out this week, which I found really telling. One was to show how, of course, there was lots of rumour that capital gains tax would be increased in the, in the spring budget. It wasn't. And I'm sure many investors breathed a sigh of relief. Capital gains tax is more favourable at the moment. And there was talk that it would be brought in line with income tax, which could see many investors paying 40% or even 45% on the gains of their property. Um, so interestingly, in quarter four last year, 7.5% of properties that were listed had been rented before. And that compared to the previous year, 2019's quarter four, where just 4% of properties that were listed had been rented. And that would indicate that there are lots of landlords looking to sell their properties that are very pregnant with gains uh, before the capital gains tax rate goes up. But interestingly, there was also shown to be a surge of new investors to the market. So the number of people buying property as an investment increased. Um, I think there's a few reasons for that. Uh, obviously, if you hold cash in a bank or building society, rates are historically very, very low at the moment. You don't get much of a return. Um, property will outperform that. Typically in Tunbridge Wells, if you're renting, we estimate a yield of around 36 to 3.8%. That's on your income that you receive. And then, of course, you also get capital growth within the asset, which isn't seen until you sell it and you crystallise that growth. Um, but of course it therefore performs on both levels and indeed in many uh, research it's shown to be in the best asset class to give you both a combination of income and growth against any other asset class over the last 10 year period. Of course, rental market is very, very buoyant. Uh, the minute we advertise a property for rent, it goes very quickly. You don't get long voids unless you've completely mispriced it. Uh, most tenants now, there's a new demographic of they are people who just are young professionals, desperate to get onto the property market, but can't quite save up that deposit. Um, so you'll rent your property quickly to a great tenant. And of course, mortgage rates are very, very low. Um, so interesting to see that there's probably lots of landlords getting rid of properties that are pregnant with gains but maybe buying new ones um, and not be planning to sell those maybe pass them on in their estate or indeed sell them in due course but they won't be as pregnant with gains and of course a point I mentioned there about uh, people trying to get on the property market the 95 percent mortgage that was also announced in the budget last week interesting to see um, zoopla came out with a really interesting graph to show where in the country will that really benefit people and interestingly it was shown that if you live down in the southeast or uh, london and of course we sit down here in the southeast property values are so expensive um, that even if you get that help with that 95% deposit, you might not be able to afford the actual increase in mortgage payments that you would get. It was shown that an average mortgage payment on 95% typical first time buyer purchase in this area would result in a 35% increase against what someone would be paying on rent. So um, they might get, be able to save up the deposit now, but can they afford the income payments? That's still so, such sad news, isn't it? Well, of course, it was International Women's Day on Monday and it's Mother's Day this Sunday. So in celebration of all things women, this afternoon, I am going to be chatting to um, some really great entrepreneurial working mums. Um, we're going to have a chat about looking back over the last year 
um, what the world has, uh, how our worlds have changed, thinking about our really low points during lockdown, the good things that we've taken forward from it and what we're excited about from the future. It's going to be a chat with three really great uh, ladies. We've got Melissa Bantock, who runs Luminaire um, on the High Street, owner and founder of that. We've got Lynn Meek, um, started off as a fashion size, but now runs a very successful online um, clothing uh, boutique. You must have a look if you haven't already. And Lynn Gadston, um, president of the West Kent Chamber of Commerce previously, um, and runs uh, Grovewood Wealth Management, um, and a big figure in the local community. So I'm really looking forward to having a chat with them about how we've found lockdown and what we're looking forward to. We'll send out all the links and the details for that. And of course, if you are celebrating Mother's Day this week, um, this weekend, look at, remember my usual click and collect options. There's some great ones out there. The Poet, the Lyle, um, the Beacon. Um, they're all doing really, really great click and collects to celebrate. We probably want to be quick. If you haven't ordered by now, you probably need to soon. Well, finally, just to end with a beautiful property that I think any mum, if she likes to cook, uh, would be happy to cook in the kitchen of this property. It's in the Warren area of Crobra. It's a really beautiful uh, new build property, very spacious accommodation, beautifully presented, lovely big garden, um, and great free flowing accommodation, offered with no onward chain and uh, stunning views of that lovely Warren area with the Ashdown Forest that sits on its doorstep. That's on a guide of 1.2 million. So if you'd like to have a look at that in any more detail, then give me a call. Have a great week and I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Bye bye.